Lucky Star Radio Nam 2019. It is the second day. We're kind of winding down right now. I'm from Hypnostic. Oh, How are yeah. you guys doing? We good. are doing well. Good. Doing well. I mean, it's sensory overload here at Nam. And it's uh, Nam. day two, and you know, we can feel it in our knees and our ankles and our feet. So. <laughs> so, but it's going great. It's going great. We're getting around to see some of the companies we work with. Uh, Ernie Paul, KV, Dunlop, Schechter. So we'll get around to them. They've been very supportive to the bands, and especially with us being a kind of newer artist, not a national act, we're growing. They've uh, seen uh, uh, some of the some of the some of the talent, hard work we're doing, and, and the music that they've been able to see, you know, want to support a newer band like ourselves. So, very nice. Yeah, so we're very cool. Uh, what else are you interested in looking at here at Name Hall? Let's see. Uh, well, I'm after a new band to play. Oh, nice. Yeah. In particular, brand Orange. <gasps> It's a great color. <laughs> yeah, more jams. Yeah, they're coming up a lot. They, you know, they've been around for a long time. They had a kind of a resurgence in the last few years. So. Oh yeah. Um, so well, I've been talking to them. and uh, Gal Kruger. And, uh, that's pretty good. Too. I might stop in and I'm paying and see if I can get something going over there too. We'll see. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So I'm, I'm you know, uh, you know, we're, we also work with Line Six. Uh, they provide us our wireless transmitting. Wire packs for, uh, for for stage, and so uh, they just um, uh, released a new HX stomp box. Which oh. They sent me out a stomp box. Is I'm working on the record and we're doing some reamping some guitar tones, and it's an incredibly amazing simulation of high end and high gain amps. It's really incredible. So uh, we went by there yesterday, so we're going to go by there again. Just kind of looking at some of the the newer amps and new guitar pedals that are coming out. Part of the thing coming to the show is there's just so much new product released. And I'm into recording, and I, I you know, in my own studio, so I'm over in the pro audio place looking at a lot of new uh, plug-in products that people are putting out. Yeah, and just kind of uh, seeing some of my you know, people I admire, their work they do from a mixing side of you know, production audio, and getting to meet them is great. So like Chris Lord Allergy, who does a lot mm. of the great records, heavy records that we love. Yes. Uh, I got a chance to talk to him yesterday, and so, so he's releasing a new Waze plug-in. So, uh, so I love his stuff. I mean, he does a lot of this stuff. You know, Trav Stained. I mean, God, he was on Nickelback. Yeah. So you know, CLA is the man, and he does a lot of this. So it's good, by to, uh, good to go see that. And then um, we'll uh, hopefully meet up with uh, my good friend Joe Barisi tomorrow. And like I said, Dave Collins, who mastered our single, uh, he was over at the uh, audio booth today. So okay. along with gear, it's good to see other people that we know, and because you know, everybody converges in. So. Heck yeah, we're one big family here. For we, sure. are, we are indeed. So, 2019, what do you guys have planned? <sighs> Don't both of you talk at once now. <laughs> well, yeah, I can let you know. <laughs> well, we're, we're kind of going back and forth between shows. We get, we get asked to do shows all the time, but we got to pick and choose what we go with, or depending on who has played where for a certain amount of time. Like, uh, uh, what, the Canyon Club want us to get on one of the Vince Neil shows. And uh, we kind of shied away from it because Vince Neil has been playing a little bit too much in okay. the same area. Okay. So probably not going to be as packed as we would like it. So uh, we'll wait for a, you know, a show to come along with you know, another artist that, that hasn't played here in a while. So we're playing in front of packed houses. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah so like so, you were saying. So, so we're venturing out and opening for the bigger bands. Yes. Yeah, and that's been one of the things that we've, um, like I said, you know, we're based out of Orange County. Uh, there's many areas, San Diego, L.A., uh, we play up in Big Bear, up in uh, Big Bear Mountain, up in L.A. we do. I haven't been up to Northern California yet. But, um, uh, so, but, the, but, the, but the main focus this year is like, it's like it's continuing to grow on the shows, like Rob was saying. Um, uh, you know, we found that um, as we've been able to get, building the brand, Agnostic, we've been able to get these better support shows, which really, is the key thing because we get exposed to so many new people. Yes. We've made so many new fans and so many new people because they might come to see a doctor or Sebastian Bach or Buck Cherry we just played with or, um, or Lynch Mob I mean, you know, or a Puddle of Mud, Puddle of mud and, and uh, Trapped and bands like that. So their fan base will come out and we're kind of in that genre. So we really get a chance to get out now other than doing just our own shows under our name, but to be a support band and, and we're building our name up so we, we get these opportunities People will say, listen, you guys, you got a great brand of product we open up with. We say Vince Neil. Yeah. So um, we were entertained that we wanted to, but I know that Vince just did a string of shows here. So we, you know, we, gotta, we try to 
strategically pick shows timing wise so we don't overexpose the band. Yes. Because once again, we want to build a fan base, uh, and if you're playing all the time, people, you know, we're not a national act touring all through the states, so we're kind of in a region, so we try to be selective about not overdoing it so that the crowds and the nights are packed. So. So that, like, like Rob was saying, so yeah. that that definitely is continuing. We are doing with uh, we're playing with Puddle of Mud on August 24th. We're going to be opening for them at, at the new venue out in Montclair. Okay. Canyon yeah. opened a new venue out there. Oh, nice. In Montclair, so we're going to be supporting them August 24th, and then we've got a couple other options. Maybe a House of Blues show. We're trying to get on the, the Mud Fest Festival in Anaheim, the House of Blues Anaheim, which has got saliva trapped. Tantric, Puddle of Mud. So, oh wow! So, so we, we did a uh, Saving Abel, Saving Abel. So, so those are shows like that. So, along with that, we continue to do that to make the show and build the show. But along with that, I continue. We've got the record pretty much all recorded and done. So I'm just mixing that. And we just got to get that out. Yes. That that has been long overdue. You know. So, uh, unfortunately, you know, like I said, our lives. We also have other things we're doing too. You know. I mean, you know, obviously to pay the bills and stuff like that. Because original music is a tough. It's a tough, uh, tough angle, you know. So, so it is. It's, yeah. it's it's more about the passion that we have for playing the music than trying to be a cover of a tribute band. So, so we slave away at other stuff. Nice, very nice. Do we like have... he does with his hand? Or, you know. <laughs> Do we have any idea of when the album might be coming out? Well, I, I mean, the goal when the goal is as soon as possible. I like I, it. I, I would really like to say like by the summer. This year. <laughs> yeah, I would really like to, and we'll probably release another single. But um, we're getting a roll on it. And Rob and I and Marty, all the tracks are recorded. So um, I try to fit in the mixing and stuff along with show promotion and all the stuff we do too. So you know, like I said, we all wear many hats in this. So, yeah. So, yeah, so but we, the goal would be by this summer would be really great. I mean, personally for me, it's been long overdue. I would really like to see that goal be checked off the list. Very. So, nice. so would he be. <laughs> He's very patient. So, <laughs> as the guys are. <laughs> Very nice. So for the people that want to keep up with you, where do you send them? Facebook. Bands in town. Uh, <laughs> Basically <laughs> just look up Hypnostic. Well, I mean, yeah, Hypnostic.com. Yeah, Hypnostic.com. Hypnostic. That would be where you'd find us. <laughs> get you everywhere. <laughs> that, that will link you to everywhere. But of course we're on, you know, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and stuff like that. So all the primary things. We, you know, we spend some time in Reverb Nation, but we try to, you know, we can't, there's so many media platforms, so we really try to stream, streamline it to the ones that are best suited, and you know that we're really going to get more people to it. So, you know, that's, uh, some of the ones, like I said, we try to keep our focus. It can be it can be overwhelming with the amount of oh, yeah. sites. So, so, but Hypnostic.com would be the great place to start. Very nice. Or on uh, the Star Radio. The Star Radio. This is true. This is true. Thank you so much for taking time out to listen.